Hey, what's up guys? It's Lopak back with another Albion Online video for you. Today, we're going to continue the money-making series guides, and we're going to be taking a look at the black market. Now, you may have seen some other mentions of the black market on my channel. Uh, it featured quite heavily in my free-to-play to premium challenge I did, the three-day challenge back when the free-to-play launch dropped. I used the black market to grind for my premium on a brand new character. Uh, made some money there and I've also in my beginner's guide I've got an introduction to the black market which basically explains in depth what it is the reasoning behind it and the mechanics of the black market but neither of those actually take a look at the best ways to make money on the black market so today's video we're going to be looking at the ways I make money on the black market and the way you can so quickly I will run over what the black market is very basically if you want the in-depth look go to my beginner's guide playlist and look for the black market video there that will explain all of the mechanics but the black market is this thing that you'll find in Carlion uh, it looks a bit like an ox parking lot a lot of the time because there's so many people there chilling trading flipping selling it's basically a system where the game will buy items from you and it will then distribute these items as loot drops on mobs and in chests so because it's a player driven economy they wanted items to go in they wanted loot drops from mobs but they wanted them to be player crafted so players make items or get items sell them to the game the game then distributes them to the mobs so that's what it is um every time something is not available on the black market that somebody would have rolled on a loot table it increases the price so things go up so there are two ways to make silver on the black market Method number one is direct flipping, where basically you run between the black market and the marketplace and you look for things which cost more on the black market than they do on the auction house. So you buy them on the auction house and you flip them on the black market. So number one we're going to look at then is there's two parts to this basically there's short distance flipping which is done in carlion you run between the black market and to the auction house so what you could do is what we'll do is we'll first we'll set up a couple of sell orders to give you a good base to work on you can do this instantly if you find things that are cheaper you could just grab them and sell them instantly to the black market if you've got money to play with and you don't mind it being tied up you can actually make a bit of money. So look at this. We've got three Scholar's Robes tier 7 at 63,000. I think that's not a bad price. So we'll go over to the black market and see what the black market's saying about these. It probably won't buy them at that price. Um, we'll go and take a look quickly. And you can see here our Scholar's Robes will sell for... 72,000 a piece and we can sell all three of them so we just instantly made that profit we bought for 63 sold for 72 and we're making 9,000 per item that was actually quite lucky because that video could have gone really badly if I was going to lose money this seems to be about the price people are listing them so we're not going to use a sell order we could just instantly sell and we just made some money so that is quick flipping um what you can do as well is potentially have an item let's see if we've got something on me that I can use so we could sell these items in the backpack and if we're not happy with the current price of 18,000 we can actually put a sell order instead and wait for it to reach 45,000 which is a much more appealing price obviously so short-term flipping involves running between the two I recommend looking at less common things I have a lot of success with flat seven armors but obviously copying exactly what I do if everybody copies what I do people aren't going to make money because everyone will be doing the same thing so try and find your own little niches so here like you know pike grandmaster's pike at 195 probably isn't bad dual swords one-handed weapons are usually better because they use less resources so you've just got to find what you think is gonna gonna be a good money maker and honestly the more you do this the more experienced you'll get now that is the short term flipping running between for that I recommend a fast mount here I'm using the saddle terror bird as you can see for the speed boost to get between the two and flip my items as quick as possible that's because honestly in the time you've run to the marketplace and back somebody could have taken your 
buy order and actually sniped it at that price, which means you're then stuck with an item that you can't sell for a while, you've spent money on, and then it's not ideal because you're, you've got money tied up in items that you maybe need as capital. And black market flipping and trading is all about having that capital available at all times. So we've gone over the running back and forth short distance flipping. Now, long distance flipping is a little bit more complicated. It involves finding an item that you know always sells at an average price at the black market. Again, flat armors and weapons generally all sell around the same price consistently. Uh, and then you want to go to the outer cities around the royal zones and you want to find out what's going to be a better price over there. So if you can find stuff cheap in the outer cities, often things are a little bit cheaper, especially the ones that have the special refining and crafting bonuses. You can usually find those things quite cheap. If you want to check out the bonuses, you can open up the city and find the bonuses here in the drop down menu. So you can see over in Thetford, cloth helmets get a refining bonus. Leather armor gets a bonus as well. So those things are likely to be cheaper over in that city. You then buy them in bulk, come and list them on the black market and make your profit. That's super simple. So the difficult part is the distance and going through dangerous zones with your with your sellables. And also the fact that it takes you a while to go there, collect the stuff and bring it back. And again, you have to be very confident that the price will be the same. Because if the price has fluctuated downwards while you are traveling, again, you're stuck with a bunch of stuff that you need to wait for the price to settle again before you can sell, which sucks. One of the interesting effects that the Queen patch is going to have on this black market trading and why this guide needed to be remade for 2020 is Carlion is going to lose its Outland portal. So currently players can go to the Outlands through Carlion, which means there's an influx of tier 7 and 8 resources from the Outlands. After the expansion drops on Monday the 20th of January there's not going to be a portal which will mean that influx of resources will stop and the only ways that these resources will be generated in Carlion is probably through laborers and existing books that have been filled. This could lead to a surge in the TA prices on the black market and definitely something to keep an eye on and this is especially important as we look at method number two which is crafting for the black market. So there are a few different ways to go about this but to simplify it down for you guys this is for the crafters out there. Basically it involves finding things on the black market that are selling for more than they cost to make similar to the normal market but obviously the great thing with the black market is you can instantly see the prices and fill the orders now you have to be a bit savvy with this and factor in things like resource return whether it's worth focusing something stuff like that but it is as simple as that so i've got some 6.2 materials on my main so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for things in the 6.2 usually you will start with a bunch of uh things that are royal armors or artifacts and these are not really worth doing unless the prices get crazy high just because they they take so much to do that said i probably could make a 6.2 royal armor with my sigils i need 16 sigils and a 6.2 uh, base armor that's definitely something we could consider i have a lot of sigils saved up but i would have to check the price of sigils to make sure it'd be worth it in the meantime i've no idea if this is profitable currently because i'm just doing this as an example but Say we found out that the Claymore at 347,000 costs less than the materials it takes to make. We can then go and make a Claymore in town and we'll make that money. So let's go make one right now. We just find a warrior station. Again, you do want to look for the one with the lowest taxes. But for the purpose of the example, I'm not going to waste too much time doing that. But when you're, when you're looking at making money... Always make sure you're being as efficient as possible. Make sure you've got crafting journals. If you're crafting, fill those journals up for laborers or to sell. Make sure you look for the stations or get to know the stations with the lowest tax. If you're a volume crafter, maybe even speak to people and ask for an associate's rate if you're doing a lot of crafting. Often traders will give you associate's rate on their crafting station if it's going to generate a lot of business. So we're going to craft that master's claymore there. We'll head on back to the black market and sell it.
It is as simple as that, but again, as I'm saying, you've got to be very careful that you're maintaining your margins and making that profit. This method is definitely a little bit more complicated, but again, with Queen, the prices in the black market are going to be very volatile, and there's definitely going to be some big money to be made. And this is simply because we've got all of these things that the black market will have demand for because people are rolling on the loot table, but Carlion will be a lot quieter as a city and it won't have access to the Outlands portals. So that's a really good spot for savvy black market traders. You'll be able to keep an eye on stuff get good margins on things and if you if you plan in advance and have a lot of tier 8 resources in Carlion you'll be able to hit those crafts like as the prices hit where you want them to be and make a lot of money honestly obviously this method here is for the crafters out there and the more things you can craft at a higher level the more options you'll have to grab those great profit making crafts the great thing about the first part of the video though the option one the flipping is that anybody can do this there's no skill level requirement there's no you know there's no mastery requirement like there is for a lot of things in albion a brand new character can do this provided you've got a brain and a little bit of money if you don't have a lot of money to start with don't worry jump down to tier four and just start flipping low ticket items you can find plenty of stuff at 4-1 that will still make a profit and you just use those little little tiny trades you might only make 1000 or 2000 silver on a trade but slowly you'll build up more money you can make bigger flips and you can make more money as you build up i'm planning on doing another free to play to premium challenge soon to see what it's like in the current climate there'll be a lot of black market on that and you'll see a great example of what i mean about starting off with tiny trades to build up a bankroll that will let you make the bigger trades in the long term one final thing I want to talk to you about on the black market, and this is for all traders, no matter what you're doing, is quality. So items in Albion have a quality ranging from normal to masterpiece, and the black market is kind of janky how it handles this. Um, if you use the sell function on the black market, the black market will only allow you to sell the item at the quality listing. Each quality will have its own price. So you can see here the black market is buying an outstanding for 50,000. However, if we go back to here, we can see that there's prices at all. We could actually sell it as a good tier for 15,000 more. Obviously, we don't want to sell at these prices because these prices suck, but it's worth noting that this is not quite how it should work. So you don't automatically sell it at the best price. You do need to manually go to the buy orders, search your item and find the best price. A masterpiece can be sold as any quality. An item can be sold at any quality below itself. So my, my outstanding can be sold as an outstanding, a good or a normal. The only way to get this to work properly is to use the buy order page and search the specific item. It doesn't work through the sell tab, which is kind of annoying, but it's definitely something that as you get deeper into the black market, you do need to know this tip because you might have noticed earlier in the video when I crafted my Claymore, I actually lost 100k because I sold it at the wrong quality so just make sure to get your expected price make sure you know what quality you're aiming for obviously for consistency if you're crafting don't plan on the prices of anything probably lower than good like you'll probably get a lot of normals until your mastery comes up so aim for normals but once you're a high spec crafter you can expect a good quantity of good and you can sell off the normals on the auction house so that's fine but generally if you're buying off the auction house and flipping, you definitely want to make sure you're getting the best quality you can at the cheapest rate. Like sometimes it's worth paying, for example, a little bit more from a normal to a good because you can get 10,000 more on the auction house or whatever. So again, this is all down to you as you learn more about the black market, get more into it, you'll be more experienced with this, but always double check your quality is correct for your sell order. Anyway, I hope this video was useful to you guys and I hope you have some fun playing the black market and flipping. Let me know if you're a crafter, what your hot picks are for the black market. Maybe you don't want to tell everyone, maybe it's a super secret, but Bogle from the Albion TV show, he always talks about crafting hundreds of bags every day. 
and flipping them on the black market. Bags are something that drops quite a lot, but I won't tell you to go and do bags because he'll get upset with me for ruining his economy. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this, guys. See you soon for another Albin Online video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Take care.